Look at this bad boy. Oh my god, it's five, six pounder. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today I am on a secret little lake known as Donkey Land with two of my favorite YouTubers. We got John and Lindy from Small Water Charters. So you guys blindfolded me on the way here, so I don't know right. exactly know where we are. What Central Florida? <laughs> Central Florida. Is that is that all? Is that all I know? That's that... all you know. We're not far from Headwaters. How's that? Don't talk anymore. We'd have to kill you. Yeah. So yeah, I got blindfolded on the way here, which is tricky because I drove, but. I made it. Uh, we are here on a secret little lake pretty close to Headwaters known as Donkey Land. So the wind is just picking up here on this lake and we've gotten two fish in the boat so hopefully the bite is picking up a little bit. We got to mix with some different baits tied on. I of course have some old school baits that I uh, brought in my carry on. John and Lindy are fishing with some Bruiser baits which is their sponsor. They make some actually really good salt plastic jerk baits and also swim baits. So I might be swapping over to those before too long. Stay tuned. Oh my god, it's five, six pounder. No, nope, not that big. Still a decent fish. There's the first one out of donkey land. Yes. That's what, a three probably? At least a three. Your lure keeps tripping me out because you lay it down. Good. <laughs> yeah. That was on a sinker, wasn't it? Yeah, I'd stop to watch him. And went down to the bottom. Did not catch you? Mwah. There's my fish. <laughs> All right, well, these lakes, like the one we're in, are water filters. They're reservoirs to clean up the water from the St. Johns River as it goes downstream, down through Florida. This one, they just, <coughs> excuse me, they just put a dike around it and dammed it up and started fishing it. Headwaters, they actually went in and did upgrades, planted cypress trees, dug pits, made stair-step shelves. What else did they do? They call it uh, enhanced. the enhanced area. They tried to enhance the area before they filled it. But Florida is thinking that the next trophy or the next state record will come out of Headwaters. What do you think? Now, I'm going to catch it here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come from right here. Just keep watching. Fish number two. That donkey land. And sugars. <laughs> Another little whoa, kite donkey. It's like a retro bass and five pounder right it there. It is. <laughs> All right, a little status update, bass and buds. So we're still out here on Donkey Land. Just about everybody is getting fish except for, for this guy. Not so we're working about. on that. <laughs> not just about. <laughs> but they're not biting good in his defense. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know. Um, anyway, we just moved spots. So, what part of Donkey Land are we in now? The middle. The middle. <laughs> the middle All right. of Donkey Land. We're in the middle. So, again, if you guys are making a map of this place, you got Donkey Land is in the middle of Florida, and then we're in the middle of that. There so you go. That ought to be easy to draw. It right should be out. real easy to find. Yes. Um, <laughs> we've been throwing a number of old school baits, some top water stuff. I actually had a really nice hit on a spinner bait. Uh, ended up retro on that one, so I didn't uh, hook that guy. 
but it is like a perfect day out. It's overcast. It rained for like what, 30 seconds earlier, yeah, and that was right, it. Right. Um, and the fish we have seen have been super healthy. So I'm gonna keep casting it some old school stuff. I might break down and throw some bruiser baits before too long. <laughs> if, if, if these two get any more fish, uh, it, it might be time, we'll see. <laughs> see, I'm gonna lose subscribers though, because again, the first cast with a non-retro lure and I hook a fish. So uh, I just don't know what to say about that. But again, bruiser baits, so that's bruiser good. Bruiser baits. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrea. That works too. <laughs> oh, yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> that's a pretty little fit. So what is that? Like a two or three? Uh, oh, that's ouncer. Not a ouncer. Half ouncer. Half ouncer. Half ouncer. <laughs> well, there we go. So is that mean the skunk's off, or is this still in skunk territory? No, you're I'm off. I'm off. off. All right. Yeah. Oh, they got sharp little. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got sharp little teeth on these guys. Yes, they do. Yeah, cocky. We have found a cocky little one. <laughs> then the rest. Yep. Chris, did you hear the bell ring? Number four. <laughs> School, I think, is in session now. Mama just started the classroom. So I gotta admit, John, that's, that's a lot more fun to hear when I'm just watching from my computer than when I'm on the boat actually experiencing it. <laughs> oh, it's fun to watch me get spanked. <laughs> I mean, <That's> not, right. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I normally get to sit home and laugh and watch. Ah, and, mama's catching more. Oh, isn't yeah. that funny? Yeah. Everybody loves that. Everybody loves that. You're there. <laughs> Good bye, Chris. Oh! <laughs> Got it, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's your four pounder, three and a half, four pounder. That's probably four, all yeah. over it. Yeah. What is, that, Chris? Is, that, is that what we're looking for? Chris. Oh, Look, she caught it with a bear hook. No bait. <laughs> it's there somewhere. <laughs> <Got> number six. <laughs> How many you got? Three. <laughs> oh, so you went to the white though. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I ran out of silver in my pocket. <laughs> I noticed you didn't kiss that fish. Does that have something to do with the lack of success that you and I are having? That's what we're wondering if it's the sugars. They know they're going to get that good sugar. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm trying to, it's, you know, you got to watch what the other anglers are doing that That's are successful. Right. and. Obviously, I've switched baits, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, didn't kiss any fish yet. But they must go tell the other one, you know. Cause they don't get the kiss till it's over. So. That is a nice fish. You want that? I'll help you. Oh, that is a nice fish. <laughs> Look at that. There you Holy go. Mackerel. Look at that. Mama at Son. the end doing it. Number nine. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. See, I had to touch a big fish today, one way or another. There's your thumbnail, right there. <laughs> oh man, that is a beaut. <laughs> Very good, guys. Mama can put the fish in the boat. Good job, Chris. <laughs> good job, Chris. I'm a good thumb man, I guess. That's it. <laughs> awesome. Go. <laughs> All right, guys, so today was a pretty awesome day on the water. I think we lost count. We're going to have to check it out as far as uh, the overall count. But, Lindy, I think you had maybe 10 or 11 10. on the day. All the fish we got today came on bruiser baits. Definitely want to show you guys um, a couple of the different baits. There were pretty much two main styles we're fishing with today. These are called the Big Jerk. They come in several different colors, but these this is my favorite, it's my second favorite, and this is my third favorite. It's kind of like a gold shiner, and this is like the silver shad, and this one you just can't beat anywhere. But I use it on a weightless hook. I rig it up, go through the top, pull it through, secure it here, bury the hook here so it's weedless in that little crack. Pull it up, and bury the hook so you can't feel it, and then I just jerk it in the water. Yeah, see that? So what's nice about these baits is, first off, they definitely held up pretty well today. Um, I didn't. I was fishing with them most of the day, had some hits, and they, they don't really get ripped up. They're also heavier than a lot of soft plastics, so they cast it really well. Yes. This one, and then this guy. What's this guy called? 
That's a super blue, swimmer. It's a blue shad. And Lindy, I noticed that you're fishing with this guy, the big jerk, more often. Mm -hmm. And John, I see you fishing with this guy. Right. Is that just because you like to fish fast? Yeah, because I like to twitch it on top. I'm, a, I'm more of a power fisherman. I like to fast move it. Super swimmers. Nice. Oh, that's a good looking bait. But yeah, so we were fishing with both these guys. But this was nice. You could sort of twitch that, let it sink a little bit. A la like an old school sluggo or something like that. Mm -hmm. right. Like a jerk bait, just like a jerk bait. A lot of people fish jerk baits, you know, with the worms. You get it walking the dog. Yep, walking the dog, jerk bait. You can do it on top or let it sink a little bit, jerk a little bit, and it just looks like an injured fish. You know, what's a better lunch? An injured fish, you know. If folks want to get some bruiser baits, is there a code to use? Yes, SWC, all capital letters, 20. You get 20% off. At Bruiser Baits. At Bruiser Baits and? SWC, that stands for Small Water Charters. Yes, yes. 20. 20. Gotcha. And Bass Addiction. At BassAddictionGear.com and BruiserBait.com. Yep. Oh, ah. Look at that. Lindy is showing us how to catch him. Holy mackerel. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Is that number 11, Lindy? That was number 10. 10, okay. So I didn't know I was just gonna come to Florida to get abused. Yeah, you were. You're, you should have known that. Everybody, I was not. I was not aware of that. Everybody gets the lesson from mom. You said I was gonna get go back home with like a sore thumb. <laughs> I didn't realize it was from uh, bringing you know, in her fish. Bringing her fish. That's another. These are just pretty. They're just pretty, pretty fish. solid fish. Oh, and they got some sharp old teeth. Look at that. Nice green tongue. Whew. So how big's that one? So like a two and a half, two and a half, two and a half probably. Three. Yeah. yeah, about average two and a half, three pounds. Yep, that's a cookie cutter one for here. That's your all day when they're biting fish. All day. Thank you. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Sugars, sugars. Wait, wait, you gotta sugars. Get it. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to say, y'all make Chris do it. Maybe, he'll catch one <laughs> Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> I got like one cast left, but all right. There you go. Yay. <laughs> So Either. folks want to come down and fish with you, what's the best way to hook up with you aside from, of course, the old YouTube channel? Uh, you can email me at cannedham65 at gmail.com. That's ironic because I actually went for that Gmail address and said it was taken a while back. So I guess you got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It. Everybody wanted canned ham. It was, uh, yeah. So I ended up with 66. So whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop that down below. What's, yeah. what's the best time of year to come down here? Uh, they're on the beds like from December through March. So if you want to try to catch a bed fish, that's a great time to come. But I prefer like right after the bed and when they get back to feeding. So March into April would be my prime. And so what, are the, what are the biggest end. fish y'all got here in Donkey Land? Largest? Yeah. My biggest is a 10-6 and Lindia's is 9-9. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. See, I'm surprised she doesn't have the big one. Yeah. I've I'm got, very surprised. She always catches more, but somehow I end up with the big ones. <laughs> I got the biggest one at Headwaters. So, I mean, I got... That's the one thing I can hold on to is the big fish so far. <laughs> but, but days here, we've had 86 fish days. You know, one day, me and her, 50 fish days, easy. And today, you guys said it was a tough day, but we still had how many fish on the day? Tough day. Lindy's got eight. I got four. You got one. So I got one. 15 fish, something like that. So. That ain't too shabby. And it's a tough day. That's a terrible day for donkey <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Bass and Buds, definitely go check out Small Water Charters YouTube channel. Get your butt on down to Florida and go fishing with John and Lindy. You guys will have a blast. Unfortunately, I had to get back to Texas, so ideally, we'd have a couple more days on the water to figure stuff out, or rather, to let the fish figure out their own mood. <laughs> right. But rest assured, we'll be back real soon. Till next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up. And definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.